Hello everyone and welcome to the back of the BMW 740e i Performance with Driving Assistance Plus package. I am testing this car because I'm specifically interested in the Driving Assistant Plus package. It is kind of the equivalent of Tesla Autopilot, so it's a system that helps you while driving, like it has some kind of steering assist that makes sure you stay between the lines on the road and adaptive cruise control. What I want to do today is I'm going to make a point of view video um, while I'm driving the car with the adaptive assistance on just like I did for other cars in the past like the Mercedes E-Class, the Volvo S90 and the Tesla Model S I will put the links of those POV videos uh, down below now on those videos I got a lot of positive comments but also some negative feedback mostly from people saying that I was not using the systems properly now probably these people are right because it was not my purpose to show you how to use those semi-autonomous systems properly I just wanted to show you what those systems can actually do by themselves and what they cannot do by themselves so that was my purpose maybe in the future I will post a video where I show you how to use the systems properly if you want that video let me know in the comments um, but today I'm just going to make again a, a point of view video where I turn on the system and I try to show you as clear as possible what the car is doing by itself that's a little bit of a problem in the BMW because the interval that you can keep your hands off the wheel with this car is quite short it's like one seconds maybe two seconds while with the other cars it's much more I think with the Volvo S90 it was about 15 seconds with the Mercedes E-Class it was about 45 seconds and with the Tesla model as about two minutes so what I will do I will when I will just keep my hand you know like this on the wheel with my hand open when you see me in the video like this that means I'm not putting any force on the wheel I'm just slightly touching it so the car thinks that I'm actually having my hands on the wheel or that I'm at least there also when I have my two fingers like this on the bottom of the steering wheel um, I'm not putting any force on the wheel when I'm putting force you will see that my right hand comes to the wheel or that I'm really putting you know much more movement in my in my left hand so yeah now that I made this introduction let's get started <laughs> 